It's incredible. When you stop and actually look at each one and you go back, you're finding more and more details. I just had to come and see it. I've seen people just come up and just take pictures and stare at them for hours. You're downtown Wilson at the Volus Simpson Whirly Gig Park and Museum. It is a home for Volus's 30 kinetic whirly gigs, which are just amazing sculptures. You can spend hours here and not see all the full details of each of these whirly gigs. They're just absolutely incredible. They're whimsical, they're happy, they're fun. My dad was a very hard worker who came up in Wilson County. At the end of the week, he wanted to go to a, a metal scrapyard, and he would walk along and he'd say, pick me up one of those, pick me up two of these, and he'd throw it in a pile and, uh, and it would eventually find its way up onto a windmill spinning in the wind. He used his creative side to use the things he had to enjoy. He meticulously cared for it, greasing it and, and prepping it and touching up paint and stuff like this. Young people in town would go out to his farm at night, but he would cut up old highway signs, which shined, you know, when your headlights went on them. And I mean, when the wind was blowing, I mean, it was just a kaleidoscope of colors. In advanced days, up around 90, he was unable to climb ladders and stuff, and it was gradually deteriorating. And there was a group of that realized we needed to save the whirly gigs and that if we were able to purchase the whirly gigs from the Simpson family and restore them or conserve them and put them in a public park in downtown Wilson, they could become a vehicle to drive development in the downtown area. Some of them were easy, they just lifted off with a lift and we made a stand to put them on on a trailer to come back. Some of them 27 feet wide, didn't go on anything very well, and some of them had to be taken apart. Some of them was in very bad condition. Uh, we had some that we had to completely redo. In the renovation process, he was in awe of the newer materials used to renovate the whirly gigs. As he got older, I think he understood the concept that they could also take a new life in Wilson. The park has truly, truly been a catalyst for the redevelopment of historic downtown Wilson. We have seen properties around downtown being purchased, renovated, businesses opening up in these properties, residential units being created in these properties, most of which were completely boarded up and unused um, before the park. I think it gives people a reason to come to Wilson. We have all sorts of concerts and theater events. Things are happening in this park all the time that are programmed by the nonprofit. As he neared the end of his life, I think he really captured the idea that he had been doing something super creative and that others enjoyed it. And I think as he went to his glory, he understood that other people considered him an artist. For me, art is a gift, and it's a, a gift that needs to be shared. Bring the kids, bring the family. It's just a beautiful spot to take a moment and unwind and unplug and enjoy it. Thanks for watching, and if you don't want to miss any more great regional stories, please subscribe to our PBS Charlotte YouTube channel.